All right, on matters health now, the Chikungunya virus uh, update. So far, 40 people have been infected in Mombasa with more others uh, showing up in hospitals. And a lot of questions have been asked about this particular um, uh, infection or virus uh, that uh, we last saw in 2016 after a number of people were infected in uh, the county of Mandera. But joining us by way of phone now is uh, Kevin Ndede, who is a medic to just uh, shed more light on this particular uh, virus. Uh, thank you very much for joining us, Dr. Tari, here on KTN News Desk. I would begin by what really causes this particular virus? Uh, good afternoon, Akisa. Yes, uh, thank you very much once again for joining us. Just let us in on uh, some of the questions that I've been asked is what really causes this particular virus, Dr. Tari? Okay, um, as you correctly put it, um, chikungunya is a virus. Um, and so what we are really talking about is uh, the vector that transmits the virus. And uh, to a large extent, uh, this virus is transmitted uh, by is, is a mosquito-borne virus. So when you get um, bitten by a mosquito and the mosquito happens to carry the virus, then you have a chance of getting infected by the mm. virus. Mm. Well, the last time we heard of this particular case was uh, in uh, Mandera, I think in mid-2016. What is it about these particular areas like Mombasa and Mandera where this case is uh, are seen to almost be recurring? Um, so in terms of uh, the transmission for this virus, the biggest issue is that you will find it occurring mostly in places that this particular mosquito that transmits the virus can survive. Mm -hmm. And so for this particular mosquito, it happens to habit the places that are at high temperatures. And uh, Usually you will find um, these outbreaks uh, being sporadic, especially following uh, bouts of uh, rainfall where the mosquitoes multiply rapidly and therefore the transmission rate uh, increases. From, what, uh, from the reports we are getting from Mombasa is that 40 people so far have been infected by this particular virus. Is this alarming in, 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 in any way for you, Dr. Tari? Um, yes, that is alarming because there is the potential that more are likely to be infected because the ones who are infected currently then become a pool from which uh, the transmission can spring. So if they get bitten by mosquitoes, then those mosquitoes become infective and there's a multiplier effect in the households and in the community. So this can really spread to be a serious outbreak. So yes, um, it is alarming and mm -hmm. um, there should be mitigation circumstances uh, put in place by health workers. So then what should Kenyans do, especially in areas where this uh, virus is very prone um, uh, to come up, so to speak? What should they do to prevent this particular virus? Um, the first thing is that with viral infections, the trouble is there's usually not really effective treatment. So the main measure that we need to take is uh, control of transmission. Mm -hmm. And because this is vector borne, a key part of uh, controlling this is uh, controlling the vector that transmits this disease. Um, so in this case, the most important thing would be avoiding exposure to the vector, in this case, the mosquito that transmits the virus. So all the protective measures, um, sleeping under net, uh, clearing the breeding places for mosquitoes. And um, probably also the people who are already infected need um, to be um, kind of uh, quarantined so that they do not become a source of further infection to mm. the rest of the community. What are the symptoms? Because um, uh, from some of the reports that we get a number of times, um, uh, someone might confuse that with uh, arthritis or other diseases related to the joints. What are some of the symptoms for this particular virus? Yeah, that's absolutely correct, uh, Kisa. Um, chikungunya virus actually presents with non-specific symptoms, but the hallmark of the disease usually is um, 
quite disabling joint pain. And as opposed to most of the arthritis uh, conditions, the kind of disease you get with chikungunya, you get with joints. Mm. And um, it is not as periodic as some of the joint conditions that you get with uh, arthritis. The other symptoms are really unspecific and may be confused with other diseases like malaria, mm -hmm. or events with headaches, um, fever, generalized fatigue. Um, so ideally in terms of uh, identifying and, and correctly diagnosing the disease, health workers need to have uh, what we call a high index of suspicion, especially in areas that there's an outbreak of the disease. Otherwise, they might get treated for conditions that they really don't mm -hmm. suffer from. Do you think as a country or even the counties that uh, have been affected, like Mombasa for now, for instance, um, how would you rate how they are handling this particular uh, situation? And do you believe that more could be done uh, in terms of preventive measures? Uh, well, um I would investigate the government uh, or the health sectors in those particular counties uh, because, uh, to be honest, I'm not really privy to the measures that they have put in place uh, to curb this outbreak. But I'm sure the public health sector in those particular counties are doing uh, all they need to do in terms of uh, controlling the epidemic that has just come up. Well, thank you very much for joining us here on KTN News Desk. That is uh, Dr. Kevin Dede, who's a medic there, um, just shedding more light on the chikungunya virus uh, where um, uh, 40 people so far have been affected from that particular outbreak in the county of Mombasa here on KTN.